Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you at 37 weeks and 5 days, so I am super excited to share with you my hospital bag. I love to watch these videos and so I'm like really excited to do my own and share what I'm bringing with me to the hospital. So right next to me is my bag. And it's just a regular Victoria's Secret um, overnight like weekender bag. And let's just start unpacking it. I'm going to put it on this side of me. Ugh. Okay, now I have my toiletry bag all packed. This is for me and Richard. And on the outside, I'm bringing a charger, just a regular charger and then some headphones. And then I also packed a, um, this one is a six foot cord because the last time when I was in the hospital, um, I'm giving birth at Kaiser and their, their chart, like their ports are um, really far from their beds. So this one is a six foot. So this way I can have my phone plugged in. Plus when the baby's born, I'm gonna be wanting to get pictures and like posting her on Instagram and stuff like that. So if my phone is constantly dying, it's old. So um, I can go ahead and like have it plugged in at all times if I need to. On the inside, I just have my toiletries up here and then my makeup and my hair stuff down here. We'll just start off with my makeup. Um, I have a travel brush clips, BB cream, better than sex mascara. Um, I'm probably going to throw in my concealer, um, maybe like a lip liner and like some lip gloss or something and then my bronzer but that's really it because I don't really like I'm not planning to put on a full face of makeup I'll just probably do like a five minute um, touch up for like photos I am gonna take a shower at the hospital so I'm bringing my toiletries with me so I have my sponge my body wash my face cream Deodorants for me and Richard, my face wash, dry shampoo, a moisturizer, shampoo and conditioner, Richard's shampoo conditioner, toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash, my body spray, emergencies, face wipes, floss. So I just have a chapstick here. Those are all of my toiletries. Just really basic, simple stuff. Um, the necessities basically. And that's like really what my bag is. I'm just bringing necessities going in for a second time. I know now what's really needed and, and what's not. And so I'm trying not to overpack this time. I'm bringing a folder to hold my documents in. I have my birth plan in here. This is for like um, the birth certificate that they give you. Um, any of the paperwork, all of your discharge paperwork, you kind of want to keep everything together. That way it doesn't get lost keep all of all of the hospital stuff together so it has the extra pocket for that and this I found at the Dollar Tree it was only a dollar so um, for any important documents this is what I'm bringing this time my belly bandit I don't know if I'm gonna use it um, the day that we go home but it's good to have when you give birth your belly just feels so loose like like your guts are spilling out and I hate the, that feeling and so something like this um, that'll kind of like keep me in and is like more secure that I feel more comfortable I'm taking some used sandals um, for the shower I don't want my feet to touch the shower floor so I'm just gonna use these and leave them there <laughs> basically they were they're like the dollar ones from Old Navy I've had them forever um, so I don't I don't need them after the hospital so I'm just gonna toss them um, a pair of fuzzy socks that I had instead of the hospital socks. The hospital socks when I gave birth to Cadence, they didn't really fit me right and like they kept slipping off and they're really scratchy and uncomfortable. So these ones are super comfortable. They're something that I got like for Christmas a couple years ago um, and they have the anti-slip on the bottom. So I am gonna get, well I'm planning to get a epidural and so if you get an epidural you have to you're a fall risk and so you have to have the socks with the no slide on the bottom so I'm just gonna bring these and these come up like a little bit past my calves so they'll definitely keep my feet warm and they fit me really well so bringing a towel um, for my shower after I give birth um, a sleeping nursing bra 
that I got off of Amazon. It came in a two pack and I think it was only $10 for both. But it's kind of like a sports bra. It has no padding or anything. Um, but this is just for like the first night that I'm there so that I can nurse the baby. And you just slip your boob out right here like that. And then I also have a long sleeve button up nightgown that I'm taking. Um, this I got from Target and it's just, just a regular nightgown. This will be easy for me to unbutton and um, try to nurse. So I'm gonna be bringing that for, for one night. And then I also have a nursing tank that I bought. This is from Walmart. It's just a regular gray nursing tank and I'm bringing these really comfortable pajama bottoms. The waistline is like super stretchy so it's not going to irritate my, um, my belly. It's not going to like hold my sides in or anything like that. And they're just like, the material is really, really soft and they're just really flowy if you can see. So even if I don't stay for the two nights, um, at least I'll have an option if I don't feel like wearing the nightgown, I can go ahead and throw these nice um, pants on if I feel like wearing pants instead. So I have those for my nighttime. And then I have um, a pair of just like thicker socks because again, my feet do get cold. So they're just regular like wool socks that are super comfortable. And the hospitals get really cold. The hospital room at Kaiser, from what I remember, got really cold. So that's what I, I'm taking those, um, an extra pair of the socks. And then I'm also taking my little granny slippers so that, you know, if I'm walking around or anything, again, they have like the non-slip down here. Um, and these ones, once I'm done with them, once I'm discharged out of the hospital, I can just go ahead and throw these away. I've had them for a couple years. Um, they're not new. My going home outfit, I have my nursing bra from Target. This has no underwire and then it just, you can go ahead and nurse that way. Um, these were at Target for $14.99. They're really pretty. They're really cute and they're really soft and like flexible. I love that they don't have like any underwire. I have like a little muscle shirt and it says strong as a mother. Um, so I'm gonna be wearing this out of the hospital with my, I think you, I think you pronounce it Blanqui. It's B-L-A-N-Q-I. The Blanqui compression postpartum leggings. And so these are made out of the same material as the maternity leggings that I bought um, during Black Friday. And I love those leggings. They're so comfortable. They're so soft. They have lasted my entire pregnancy. Super stretchy and forgiving. Um, they're not see-through or anything like that. And so I decided to go ahead and try purchasing a pair of these. They have like the um, compression top so they'll like suck me in on my way home like the day after I give birth um, I'm planning to wear these so that I can start you know sucking in my stomach and getting my body back after baby <laughs> right away um, but I just like the way that tight fitting things feel on me especially again like I mentioned in earlier in this video your guts feel like they're falling out after you give a baby everything all of your stomach muscles are so weak and so I just feel more comfortable when I have something um, holding me together and if I don't feel like wearing those these are just like regular sweatpants I've worn them throughout my pregnancy um, so they're like super forgiving a pair of undies these are compression undies um, I'm probably not going to wear these because the hospital gives you mesh underwear to wear. Like they give you all of the postpartum stuff that you need. So I'll probably be wearing the mesh underwear until I get home and um, I can wear like my my always depends pad underwear <laughs> or I'll put on a pair of these. But um, I'm taking them just in case 
And then the last thing that I am packing is a laundry bag. This is just a regular laundry bag I got from the Dollar Tree. And this is just for our dirty clothes because I don't want our clean clothes to get mixed up with like our nasty dirty ones. I don't know what's going to be on there considering you just gave birth. Probably a lot of bodily fluids. So very quickly I just want to show you guys some last minute items that I'm going to be sticking in my um, hospital bag. So I have um, just a hair scrunchie for in case I want to put my hair up. Um, and then some breast pads for after delivery. I'm just taking two pairs of them. Um, and then the sample uh, lan lanolin cream um, for breastfeeding in case my nipples start to get cracked or dry or anything in the hospital. This one, it came with the one that I bought um, and it's just like a sample size, so that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna pack this one in my toiletries bag and then um, a shower cap for when I take a shower. Um, again, I don't want, I'm not gonna wash my hair there because my hair takes forever to dry. Um, so I'm just gonna put it up in my shower cap and then just do um, dry shampoo. I'm also going to be packing my straightener, but I don't have it here. Um, and then I'm throwing in some gum. These are my prenatals. Um, some magnetic, magnetic lashes. I really don't think I'm going to use these, but just in case, like for pictures or anything like that, um, I'm going to take them just in case, just to have them. A mirror to do my makeup bedside um, again I am all for epidural so I'm going to be a fall risk so if I do decide to do any makeup or anything I'll have this um, handheld mirror handy so taking that and then these are just like my last minute um, makeup items again I told you guys that I don't really wear a lot of makeup so it's just my concealer um, this one is just my bronzer my um, my lip liner and my lip gloss, sorry. <laughs> and then um, for my eyebrows and then to curl my lashes. And this is just my little um, kabuki brush. I really don't need this because I'm just taking a BB cream. I'm not actually doing like concealer. And, I mean, um, like a full face of makeup or anything like that. So, um, and then I am also, instead of a robe, I'm actually taking a thick um, knit sweater. It's one of my favorites. And then this is just what I'm packing Richard. So these are his slides for the hospital. Um, I'm taking him a couple pairs of socks, a couple pairs of boxers. And then this one is a long sleeve shirt with um, just like jammy bottoms, but they don't, they don't really look like jammy bottoms. Um, just something comfortable for him to be in the hospital. And then he'll probably pack something for the day that we get um, discharged. But we are going to be delivering in Baldwin Park so it is very close to our house if he has to come back and get anything then he can these are his um, wireless headphones that he needs to charge and he's probably going to take with us and then I also have a list for us to put by the door of our electronics that we're going to be taking the, to the hospital this way we don't forget so this is all of the list the last minute stuff that we're going to be throwing in the bag um, make sure everything is charged and stuff like that so this I'm going to tape up on the wall next to our door besides my bag for like our clothes our hospital bag for our clothes there's a couple things that i'm bringing this time that i didn't bring when i was in labor with cadence i'm bringing huge waters because the hospital will give you water but while you're in labor all you get are ice chips and then when you get your room they give you like this bucket of water and it tastes like tap water um it never like fully quenches your thirst I don't know it just kind of grosses me out so I'm bringing my own water this time and then I'll just request ice from them so I'm bringing me and Richard um, a liter of these waters and then I'm also bringing some snacks for us some Reese's minis some raisinettes and then a huge bag this is what I have been craving my entire pregnancy <laughs> I'm gonna try not to dig into these before I go into labor um, but a huge bag of Sour Patch Kids. And then for us to toast baby, a bottle of champagne. I don't expect us to drink the whole bottle, but we're definitely going to cheers 
once our little bundle of joy is here with us. This will be my first drink in nearly 10 months. Um, I can't wait, I'm so excited. That's everything that we're taking to the hospital. We're also gonna be taking um, a camera. I didn't think about recording the birth of Cadence the last time. I was really like unsure of what to expect when I was going into labor and so I was just like really camera shy. I didn't want any any like recordings or anything of it. I regret that. I wish that I could have caught on camera like when Cadence was born they pulled her out and like put her on my chest and stuff because those are really special moments that I'll never be able to get back. So anyways, that's everything that we're taking with us to the hospital. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this content. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one. Maybe we will have baby with us. Who knows? Bye.